consistency. Why is consistency so important in our lives? John C. Maxwell said, Motivation gets you going, but discipline keeps you growing. That's the law of consistency. It doesn't matter how talented you are. It doesn't matter how the opportunities you receive. If you want to grow, consistency is key. Let's look what the Word of God says about consistency. James chapter 1 verses 3 to 4 in the message translation says, You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so you become mature and well developed, not deficient in any way. One of the hardest things to accomplish in my life is consistency. Why is it so difficult to achieve? Probably due to self-discipline that it requires. I often find myself being consistently inconsistent. It is often an ongoing frustration. Whether we are referring to marriage and family, parenting, our job or career, our educational pursuits, it's difficult at times to achieve real consistency. This is especially true in our Christian faith. Paul the Apostle challenged the church in Corinth as follows in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 in ESV. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. They, like us, weren't nearly as consistent in their Christian walk as they should have been. They needed to be reminded of their priorities, and so do we. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 reminds us, and don't allow yourselves to be weary in planting good seeds. For the season of reaping the wonderful harvest you've planted is coming. We also read in Colossians chapter 3 verses 23 to 24. Whatever you do, do it enthusiastically as something done for the Lord and not for men, not for people, knowing that you will receive the reward of an inheritance from the Lord. That's a wonderful promise. Paul Tripp says that a weather vane seems inconsistent, first pointing in one direction and then in another. But a weather vane is always consistent. It always points toward the direction where the wind is blowing. That is what makes it useful. You know, it's the little things we do daily, consistently, that brings forth fruit in our lives. To remain consistent in our Christianity requires unremitting spiritual focus, self-discipline, and study of God's Word, and sacrifice at times. Warren Wiesberg says, Now, don't miss the profound point Christ is making in Luke chapter 6, 44 to 45. He's teaching that the principle of organic consistency, that is Christ is teaching the principle of organic consistency. There is an organic consistency between what's in our hearts and what comes out of our mouths. There is no escaping the message of Scripture. Word problems are heart problems. There is an organic consistency between what is in my heart and what comes out of my mouth. The struggle of words is a struggle of kingdoms, a war between the kingdom of self and the kingdom of God. The kingdom that rules your heart and my heart will dictate 
our words. But there is grace, glorious, powerful, and enabling, forgiving and delivering grace for this struggle. My prayer for today for you, dear Heavenly Father, please help us to be consistent in our faith, Lord. to be consistent in prayer and your word and to bear fruit that will bring glory and praise and honour unto you through our lives. In the glorious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stay blessed and train yourself for godliness consistently. Pastor Perrick for Laos Dio Ministries International.